Hey, welcome back to my Prime 3. Last time we, uh, defeated... I already don't remember what it was. Like, the defense droid or something? And, yeah, uh, defense drone. Drone. And then we, um... What do you mean? Yeah, what? Okay. Okay, um, <laughs> good to know. And then we, um... Got the boost ball, came back, and, uh... Uploaded the, uh, Galactic Federation vaccine into, um... Check that this is the right way to go. This place is fucking confusing. Okay. Uh, into the Aurora unit, and now we're trying to figure out where to go from here. I think you just want to return to the ship. Uh. Though I guess, no, there was that other path in the Spire dock you could check out. Yeah, that's right. This is where I'm getting. G getting. Getting. Alright. Uh, have fun figuring out how it connects, because this map is fucking impossible to read. Uh, it looks like the door right next to me, and then just kind of straight line from there. Okay. So basically, uh, I already knew where I was going. That is the correct answer. The noise I made? Yes. <laughs> okay. I like the ship missile ammo I got there. Yeah, I'm not sure why <laughs> stuff keeps dropping that. It's not like you've been using any. Oh, I hear the cat. Yep, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being dumb. He walked into my room, stared at me, didn't even meow at me, just stared <laughs> at me, and then walked back out and started doing this. I don't know what he wants. <laughs> this poor creature. Come. I saw you getting a message. Where the fuck did it go? What, what do you mean? The little icon on the bottom showed you were getting a message, and then it just fucking disappeared as soon as you started ziplining. I didn't see anything. Oh. Bad. Alert. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing hull lockdown. On my ship? Yes. Okay, so I can't I can't use my ship anymore until that's no. Hmm. Okay. Two ways to go here. It would seem. It is being act. It is being acted upon presently at this time. Better not be fucking Gore trying to merge into it. He's trying to fuck the machine. He's trying to merge without looking. <laughs> that's what he does. Uh, should there not be a door right next to me? I don't know, there was a tube. I see. I believe the door up and on the ledge might be uh, for one of the best rooms in the game. Should I go here first? I could also be misremembering. Uh, go ahead and look at it. I, I don't... Yeah. Really remember. You don't really remember. Oh, what does it mean to remember? I did not say <coughs> remember. He did. Disc. A disc horse. Come here. Yeah, you're stupid. Come here. You're too stupid to understand. <laughs> yeah, best room in the game. Oh boy. Structure busy, a landing crew designed for small evacuation pods, okay? Engineer defeats power into the landing cradle for the recharging of evacuation pods. Okay. Is it good just because you get to see a spinny thing down below the glass? And because uh, this is the whole room. Okay. I suppose this will come up later. Oh! What? Oh, there's some little bullshit. Are those new scans? Oh, well, it's 500 kills, is what it is. Do not remember the significance of this room. Spadoiders. Steam spider. Threat index minimal. Well, they still damaged me. Kick Is there an achievement ass. for killing all the ones in here? No. I think this is the thing that will appear in the, uh... Like, in the crater, though. Alright. Wasn't that a cool room? You got to fantastic. see little spinners, you have to see a spinny thing. 
Yeah, it was awesome. I'm really glad I got the opportunity to experience that today. Okay. Yeah, loading time. God, the loading times in this game are fucking horrendous. I mean, that's okay, so okay, they're, okay. They're not. Sorry, they're not horrendous. They're just so much slower than Prime One and Two, and I don't really. There, there was a floaty thing. He didn't shoot it. I thought it was just one of those attacky like things you attack. Nope. You gotta the ones that uh, look like a miniature version of your ship are the lore bots. Lore bot. Alone till now, I always got but okay. In the year four hundred, so we went in different directions because I was just like, finally, I get to be alone, 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 alone. alone, alone. Yeah. Stand vigil. Which station does he acknowledge? Oh, okay. That one was blue. Yeah. It looks like the oh lore boy. is blue, but... I uh, wasn't even trying to to go for the command visor. I just kind of went to it anyway. It's four security yeah. locks. Can I grapple them off? Ah. So that is not going to happen until I beat Gore and fuse the things together. Oh! Woo. Oh, yeah. I think I remember what this is. This is part of the donut. <laughs> I see. All right. Well, uh, I see now why I can't do anything here. So I guess it's time for me to uh, return to my ship and see what's going on with that. Oh wait, I no, no, it. hang on. Something else to do. Just pump up the jam. Oh no, this is uh. Pop it. I don't know what it, you call this, it. but twist it. Okay, that was unique. Ship priority status alert. Do I have like a time limit? Like, nah. Okay. I think just as you make your way back, it'll just continually uh, give you updates mm. on uh, the fucking that is occurring. Of course. Ah, the small opening is covered by the uh, detritus, I see. Why can I not just pick this up or blast it open? It's, it can't be that heavy. Come on. Why do I need the plasma beam? Like That's a little dumb. It allowed me to use the word detritus, at least. <laughs> well, like detritus. I'm not, I'm not scanning ship missiles, apparently. What's this? Locked? Low level energy shield, high temp weapon fire. Oh, it's a plasma door. Okay. Now they're just brown. <laughs> I see. They're allegedly orange. Looks pretty brown to me, Haas. Uh, oh, is this where I came from? I think this is the only way to go. Hang on. Uh, I know, but like I didn't recognize this part of the doorway. All right. So I suppose the very uh, long I trek suppose. back okay. begins. Uh, yes, indeed. I am wondering if it should be cut. Um, eh, I don't know. There's I'll be, I'm gonna probably be some updates, stuff to activate so. on the way. Yeah, that too. Okay. And in the meantime, we can uh, we can have a heartfelt we discussion about uh, I don't know Bolivia or Bavaria, whichever you prefer. Let's talk about ramming Old into Barovia. each other. <laughs> When I, uh, this is the same thing I said when you said the, this the last time, but, uh, when I rub my, uh, body, it makes this really unpleasant metallic noise. You want to hear? <laughs> yes. What is the ra talk about ramming into each other thing? It's from, it's from Mystery Super Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon. As I kind of had I a feeling it was some stupid mystery dungeon dialogue because a lot of that is really dumb. But uh, yeah. yeah, the thing I said is something that Registeel says if it's in your party and you talk to it. Uh. <laughs> I think, or it's it's definitely Registeel. I don't know if the context is right. Okay, off we go. That's the same. Not, this not is having. Not 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 having a whole lot of experience with Mystery Dungeon, uh, 
I just, I, I liked, you know, occasionally I would see on Bulbapedia, there would just be the section where it lists, like, the text they have <laughs> for how much health they have left. And a lot of them seem to follow the format of, uh, let's just, you know, find this Pokemon's one gimmick and shoehorn it in as often as possible. <laughs> yeah, so it's like... You know, for promo pass, it's like 100%. My mini noses are feeling great, 80%. My mini noses are feeling pretty all right, and it's just, you know, the same yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> Time for more bullshit. I don't know why promo pass was my go-to example, but... Why wouldn't I, I was be? I was happy with it. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay, you didn't need to fucking have... exaggerate it that much, Jesus. I mean, I hate these. They... At least there's only one left. No, they're gonna oh. all come back. You have to get a perfect run every time you want to cross these. Maybe it was played up a little bit, but these things are just a fucking... Like... War crime. What if I'm actually just here for like 45 minutes? And it just feels like. Well, up then the maybe you'd second. understand some of the pain I feel. I'm not firing fast enough, that's the problem. I, I don't know if it's that or if it's just the accuracy. What I lack is the capacity. Okay, like the part sure. where I hit these multiple times. Yeah. Yes. So no, I think our I think our overreaction was warranted. Mm, no. Like, I just, I, it felt forced. That was the problem. I don't know what you're talking about. What overreaction? Well, Josh was like, mm, "Yup, yeah. Oh, this sure is difficult." It felt like, I don't know. Uh, yes. Yes! It wouldn't oh move my, my cursor! <laughs> it was stuck in place! I don't even know how the first two got shot, because I mean, my cursor was frozen. My reaction is coming from the fact that on this particular zipline segment, I'm pretty sure I got stuck here for a good 10 to 15 minutes just doing this. Well, it may- probably not 15. It was probably more like 10, but it annoyed the- annoyed me really bad. Yeah. Okay. That was definitely more than last time. It seems like they change sometimes. Ship priority status alert. Hull armor taking damage. Hull armor taking damage. I'm gonna take you there with my power. <laughs> I like how that's just a thing that we'd say. Yes. <laughs> oh. There was another way back here. Uh, it seems like it was quicker as well. <coughs> Didn't have to do this zipline. Didn't realize this formed a diamond shape. Yeah, the map here is confusing. I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know where the... I, I'm assuming there probably was something to do with the boost ball over here. Oh, no, that's where I got the boost ball, isn't it? Never mind. I mean, dumb. Okay. So, time for transit hub, hub access. Uh, okay. I'm pretty, yeah, there should be something on the way. Alright, zooming in. Where do I need to go? I need to go through the door to my right. Mom and Dad and Plimpton. Always getting in brown bricks. Um, yes? This is a one way. Is oh no, I have to use boost ball here. Okay, if I didn't have boost ball, I wouldn't be able to return to the ship. It looks like, which is very strange. I believe that's correct. I did not realize I even went through what was a temporary one way. I mean, I guess I kind it of didn't did. Make I, it super obvious. I guess I kind of did. But I figured there'd be another way out. What I the like fuck this, is this constructed fucking half pipe. 
<laughs> you have proven that you are worthy to skate. Mmm. Mmm. That wasn't jank at all. Mm. What if you got stuck under the fridge? Um, my mum would probably think it was a ghost. Trying to get into these, uh... No, I'm just phones. remembering the, uh... The fucking single corn kernel under the fridge that, uh, ended depression. Because it was funny? Apparently. Uh, I don't think I can get into those multiple tunnels. Unless I just nah. can. No, I don't believe we can. Oh, you didn't correct me. And so that what do you mean? I said, uh, I'm trying to get into these multiple tunnels, and you didn't say anything, so that led me to believe, like, that is indeed oh. what I'm supposed to do. I didn't hear you saying it, because I was thinking of the corn, so... A corner. It's a very mentally intensive task. Oh, that was how I got down in the first place? Question mark. The tunnels were, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do I get up there? Oh, spider ball. Uh, okay. By yeah, just I've going through that. the tunnels again, and yeah. yeah. Okay, I see that. It's been seen. It's been. It's been waiting for you all summer, and it's so glad you're finally here. Yes. Yeah, we know. That's fine. It'll be fine. He's keying your fucking car. <laughs> if you're the owner of a uh, orange hunter class gunship. Oh, that's the fucking scan. Okay. Yeah, if you're the owner of an orange hunter class gunship, um, please go back to the uh, landing dog. You're uh, you're the 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 oh, the, the, uh, the, uh, you, the you um where you are the uh, you um are the. Oh my god. Oh, and to the owner of a John Deere tractor, you're parked on top of a pig. John Deere tractor on top of a pig. Going back in style. Pew. <clears throat> Oh yeah! Uh. Happy birthday. Huh. Uh, uh. Cool. I don't wanna I don't wanna like celebrate too early here, but I think we might be on a roll for non shitty bosses, because I don't think gore is that bad. Okay. I don't remember it being all that bad. You said oh uh, your favorite part of the game's coming up, Joel, right? Yep. Did I already get this? Nope. It's a new one. It's more or less just the second half of uh, the so this one I missed the first time. starts around this time. Yeah, but the terrible thing is passed for the Chozo, but not for anybody else. For everyone else, it was like, you know, <laughs> two days. <laughs> <clears throat> Mechanic Reach. Uh. The Elysian Reckoning. How about the Impenetrable Quickening? <laughs> robot. Did you see the Lobot? Uh, I just, I fucking love ramming into these with the boost ball. Let's talk about ramming into each other. <laughs> I need help. I'm friends with Wormple. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible fate. Okay, fine. Uh, was there a spinner up on the higher ledge, actually? I don't remember. Apparently this is the way I came. I don't know why it swore me up here. Uh, I don't know, some weirdness with 
how you touched a ledge or something. Uh, apparently that was, yeah. We could go see, you know, how badly Gore is keying the car, but there's <laughs> stuff to explore. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Can buff that up. He was a Gore anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Whee! Oh. Alright. E tank is very oh, nice. Glad to, to have that. Yeah, glad to have that for the boss fight. Um, what else have we got? Is that it? The entire point of this platform is to house a single E tank. Yep. Pew. Right. Yeah, this uh, the sky base is the you know epitome of efficiency. <laughs> Let's just fucking keep these things levitating with God knows what power source for hundreds of years while we either sleep or are dead. It's unclear. Hey, they didn't design it like this because it was efficient. They designed it like this because it's badass. Because they could. So a little hard to see these, actually. Yeah. Alright. Still worked out. Ooh, I think this was the room where my game soft locked. Oh, good. How did it soft lock? They just uh, the doors just wouldn't open. <laughs> Good. All integrity is compromised. Oh no! If only I was quicker. Yes. Yeah. The amount of time it took you to get here definitely played a factor. <laughs> Lois. Oh hi, Gore. <laughs> yeah, he's he's having a bit of a time there. He's just been standing there punching it for the past like. 20 minutes. He's like, geez, you'd think she'd give a shit about her own you shit. See the, uh, you see the veins in Samus's eye? No. There's like blue veins coming out of her left eye. Her left, so... I'm, well, uh, the one on there. our left. Which is still like, her left. Um, yeah. Maybe? Nope, don't see anything. Oh. Yeah, there's like blue lines. Yeah, whatever. Nope, can't see it, I'm sorry. Uh. No. <laughs> Not even close. Oh no! He's ruining the electronics of my ship! Oh, I'm gonna need to find a way to repair it. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps by fusing the circuits together. With heat. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know where I can find a source of uh, heat to fire at stuff, would you, Gore? I wish you were right about that. Does he not give you the the plasma beam? Oh, he does. You just don't. That's not how you fix the ship. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Gore. Shield repels a weapon five power by unit on his back. Okay. Can I scan his shield? Apparently not. Detritus. Got to scan the detritus. Structural analysis complete. Interior of place be highly susceptible to extreme heat. Hmm. And what are these things? Uh -huh. Look. Oh, he dropped standing fuel in gel. fuel gel. Okay. That was your ship. Okay. This is a gimmick fight. I mean, yeah, I have to shoot him in the back. Well, there's more to it than that. I'm guessing you use the command visor. No. I jumped. Already liking the uh, jank of this fight. Come on. Okay, charge beam bad. Hello? Uh, it appears uh, that I have not, not worked out the gimmick of this fight. No, you, you can't really face him head do on. I have to, there. Do I have to make the fuel gel explode? You have to employ slippery tactics. Huh? 
There you go, and then like that. Th those were not the slippery tactics. Um, I thought I was being clever with that wording. Uh, you, you need to do stuff with the fuel gel. Oh, I need to boost ball over the fuel gel, I guess. To ignite it? No. No. Yeah, well, I tried shooting it. I tried boost balling it. Do I freeze it? Do I freeze him in place by tricking him into landing on it? Just try shooting it. Like... No, I freeze it. Okay, I got it. Yep. Oh! Oh, he slips. Yep. It's punny. Oh, 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 grapple! Oh, I missed it! Fuck. I don't think that's a grapple, actually. I think that's just a target. Uh oh. Target! Should've been a grapple point. Yeah, there still might be a grapple point. I don't remember if there is or not. Okay, well, I burned an energy tank trying to learn how this fight works. Yeah, I, I was trying to not completely spell it out, but I didn't yeah. want you to lose too much health. Uh, I love it when the game gives me a combat dash instead of letting me uh, jump. I also don't know how you avoid him charging at you like that. That didn't yeah, work it's... either. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good thing this is one of those bosses that, uh, you know, doesn't learn their lesson. Right. <clears throat> so why is that fuel gel on the ground? Because your ship spilled it when he was... Why did my ship have fuel gel in it? I don't know, to... That's probably what it uses. But that's like a Brio thing. Man, I don't know. I don't have all the answers, dog. Is this a new scan? I don't think it's a new logbook scan, but it might reveal... Yeah. Lower target piece you connected to Gore's main CPU. Vulnerable to ground attacks. Okay. Gore, my boy, I don't think your windmill strat is working. Okay, bombs did not work. Oh, I just have to shoot it? Question mark? No, it is bombs. It's just he retracted the little target the thing penis, when he okay. tried to do it. Yeah. So I have to well, actually, is it bombs or is it boost ball? It's bombs. Yeah, maybe it's either. Really? What am I supposed to do about these? Laser. Caution. Sometimes he just reveals it for no reason. He's a public flasher. Okay, he retracted it for some reason. Oh, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. fucking... What is this, a moderate test of strength? Like... <laughs> Retracted that super quick. I had no chance to shoot it. I mean, I did, but then I missed through no fault of my own. <clears throat> it looks like I'm not correctly shooting these missiles, which is annoying. Yeah, you're hitting some of them at least. Come on, man, Brody. Why is it locking onto his face if it's not? <laughs> I did not say Brody. I think you did, but it's... No, I didn't. Sounded like Bruddy. Why is it... At... Why is it locking onto its face if it doesn't fucking work? Okay. Like, oh it's boy. like pretending to lock on. Oh boy, hyper mode. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna fall off the edge and just finish the fight That would've been me. pretty good. Oh, scan. Right. Oh! <laughs> So that's what the phase I literally just hyper mode him, just directly. Okay. He's not actually in hyper mode right now, but uh as long as the weak points up, this works. Just keep shooting. Sorry, I thought you told me I was invincible in hyper mode. You are. You're not actually Except taking damage. Oh. You're taking a recoil, but oh, I thought that I thought you were gonna follow up that with uh Well you are immune to damage except for phase on damage, obviously. Didn't we tell you that? 
No, no. I'm pretty sure you're completely immune to damage in hyper mode. Okay. Which is one of the many broken aspects of it, because it's like, you know, if normally you're gonna have a hard time with this and lose three E tanks, go into hyper mode and only lose one. I guess. <clears throat> That seems very trial and error. Like, you have to learn what things are gonna do shit tons of damage and are hard to avoid or impossible to avoid or whatever. A little. Alright, come on, buddy. There you go. Wow, that was uh, so much better than most of the other bosses. That was perfectly fine. Perfectly reasonable yeah. design there. Yeah, of course, not really a big deal. Still a fun fight. Like, they're learning sometimes, and then sometimes they do shit like. Fucking Dogar, I can't remember what he's actually called, so I'll just call him Dogar. Moganar, yeah. Moganar, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing and the Korak Beast were fucking atrocious. Well, if I knew what the deal with the, Kor the Korak Beast was, and if it wasn't poorly programmed, it would have been okay. I don't think Moganar was most poorly programmed for the most part, it was just badly- that one was a bad design. Plasma beam. All right. Say goodbye to the power beam noises. Now it's just gonna be a flamethrower, I guess. Um, that I guess. Pew, pew. I don't know that I'd call it a flamethrower noise, really. Okay. I don't know what I'd call that. Capable of melting shit. All right. So the game has just become a lot more orange. Yes, it has. Because I'm going to be shooting fire. Because yeah. you're going to be shooting plasma beam bolts, which are orange, and the bottom right corner of your screen will eternally be covered in orange. <laughs> the plasma beam. <laughs> I see. It's not uh, for the rest of the game, but, you know, for most of it. Right. Crunchy fucking charge beam noise. <laughs> I guess I can still save? I think so. Okay. I'm wondering... Oh, right. I'm wondering um, how the hell this works in the rando. Because <laughs> what is the condition for this fight? Getting... Just... <laughs> uh, giving the vaccine to the thing. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Blur. Okay. Blur. Oh, what's right, Melting shit is fun. Yeah, missile expansion. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna go around and. Uh... Oh no, we have to repair the thing. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Feed the thing. Blair. Guessing these things can be destroyed with. Oh, this is just new enemies. Whoops, I didn't realize uh, there was something to scan. Yeah, that might have been shriek bats. There, they'll be. We'll get them eventually. See, I expected they to be the same enemies. They as weren't before. listed as missable, so. I wouldn't put it past this game to have Brionian and Elysian Shriek Bats as two separate game species. It would okay. make sense. So. Yeah, I guess. We'll have to keep an eye out. Okay. I like the smoking and the uh, air warping at the end of the gun. Yep. Uh, bowling for bots. I don't know how many you have to hit to get the achievement. It's all at once, you said, right? I think so. So, yeah, it's... I don't know. It there, seems there, slightly impossible. Good... Okay, I got two from a little bit of, of effort, but, like, I don't, I have no idea how the fuck you're supposed to get more than two. It just depends on how they're lined up. There's probably good arrangements of them somewhere. Yeah, no, there's no fucking way I can do it here. Probably not. I feel like the plasma beam should kill these quicker. Like, it's still the same number of shots as the regular one. 
That's not what it sounds like. I don't know, it's just, it's very chunky. It's got kind of like a whistling sound to it. I'm not really hearing that, but... All right. Well, mostly the charge, bam. Yeah. Yeah, that. It's got this weird... Hmm. And then when you shoot, it's like, sound. wow! I'm not sure I'm hearing what you guys are hearing, but okay. <laughs> sounds normal no. to me. Well, it absolutely doesn't sound the way it sounded in Prime 1. I don't remember we'll what it that like up and down. Wee. Flunk. Hey, look what we don't have. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's not in this game. Don't lie to her. They should have done that. They should have put something that looks like it would have been... You know, dealt with using an item from a previous game, and then just that's some battle of the bloodline shit. Perhaps, but uh, it would be funny. Yeah, you scan. Yeah. <laughs> nope, gotta melt everything. Okay. Funky. Yeah, I love how you just smack into walls. Can't deal with that. We'll be dealing with this. Okay. Huh? And the brown door's in here, I think, right? Uh -huh. Or maybe on a lower level? I will never nope, apparently know the not. layout of this place. It's all very similar and confusing. Let's save again. <clears throat> Being much more generous with uh, just the way that not not by giving more save stations, uh, they're just more convenient to get through while you're traveling through the place. Yeah, it's you know I was worried with Brio because you were having a lot of you know issues with parts of it, and I'm just like I feel like it gets better, but I don't remember. I don't yeah, know why the beginning good. of the game would be worse, but yeah, it, it got better. Brio just is a slog. Now. I can't say if Space Pirate Homeworld's any better. I kind of hate that place, but it's mostly just because, you know, get set upon by pirates every fucking five seconds, and also orange. I do like Space Pirate Homeworld better just because there's really interesting, weird shit in it, where Brio is just... It's just orange and rock. Yeah. For just ever. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, missile ammo 25. Oh, it was a missile upgrade that gave me 25. Oh. Okay. So what, that, nah. that was literally just hiding some just pots, basically. Yes. Also, I like how the pirate homeworld doesn't get a name. Yeah, it's it just does. the pirate homeworld. That's it's in, the, it's yeah, in I, the files, I, I though, yeah. I think it's, like, Ertragia or something. You could look Do you want to go in the access hatch? I don't remember where... Oh, it's in the back of this thing, yeah. right? Um, you could look it up, because it's not setting. I know so. that uh, there is an enemy that's called, like, your Tragian Shriek Bat or something, and you find I it see. there, so I assume that's the name of the planet. But... Well, you can look it up again. The name is in the files. What files? The, the, the game files. Time to play Operation. Yeah, it is, it is, uh, it says it is effectively unnamed in most versions, but in the Japanese version, Spanish version, and in unused text, it is suggested it is called your tragus. <laughs> or, 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 or tragus, I don't know how the hell you'd say it. Alright. Oh, one more. I like playing irritating stick with the plasma <laughs> beam. I just think it's funny how this thing just kind of, you know, turns into a welding torch. I, I do really like this. I think this is a really interesting application for a main weapon. I would agree, yeah. 
It, it does like the do the thing where we're trying to shoehorn in the motion controls, but here I think it works mostly fine. It yeah. gets a little picky sometimes, but mostly it's okay. You never guess what I'm going to say next. Try to scan the thing again. No. Okay, fine. Good. There's the fucking scan. Took long enough. Twelve years after the fact. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Cool. What you gonna tell us? Samus. Samus. Oh. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's going to be the ship grapple, I guess. Yep, it is time to build a nuke. I, I, I was ready to roll my eyes when they mentioned the shield again, because I'm like, really? I thought they were mixing it up by making the objective here. You, re you know, repair this computer and then it helps you. But, uh, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're like, fuck the shield generator. We <laughs> can't deal with that. Let's just blow up the shield with the nuke. Awesome. Yeah, this is a cool idea, but, uh, you really gotta, you really gotta assemble this fucking nuke. Oh, boy. Well. Yeah, it takes a bit of work. That's okay. Um... So I'm I guess I'm heading here, right? Because I don't last... know if that's where you get like I, I wasn't like I mean that's so that's I wasn't paying world. attention to the dialogue and you were kind of skipping it. So I don't think they I... told me where to go yet. They just said I have to build the nuke. I'm not seeing anywhere else to go. Well, you can't until you get the ship grapple. Uh, maybe okay. it is at that place. I don't remember. I assume so. I think yeah. I mean that's yeah. Okay. So head here and then head left, and it should be pretty obvious. All right. Um... Well, I do feel updated. <laughs> the door behind me. Fork There's no left. door behind me. Um, this door. Yes, I think. Every yes. room in this fucking place has to be like a quarter circle. Nothing can ever be simple to figure out. Okay. Cool. So I'll be taking a Sky Tram, apparently. Whee! Samus. Alright. Uh oh. See, I thought that repairing the ship was going to be a bigger problem. Or at least it was going to uh, be no, a tutorial for the happens, plasma beam. It just happens when it's ready for it to happen. There's I feel nothing like you can do. I feel like it would have made way more sense to immediately use the plasma beam to fix it. Yeah, and use I that agree. as the tutorial. Could have worked. Yeah. yeah, but that's not what we did. I did not. Pick yeah, come on, visor. Yeah, green wall. Mm hmm. Mm. <coughs> oh, this. This, <laughs> this was the yep. wrong way, wasn't it? Ah, yes. The ah. trend breaker. We've gotten there. Uh, there's so, a... Don't stop. If you're trying to, like... Yeah, they're saying, hey, you gotta go fuck off somewhere else, and there's a... You can call the ship at a place, like, nearby here. Oh, um... Right. Yes. Now that we have the plasma beam, you may remember there was some other uh, plasma beam shit yeah, stopping okay. us on a different planet. I mean, yeah, it was the ice thing. I remember that. I thought that was just gonna be a... Yep. I guess that makes the most sense for where it would be. Okay, so when you say the favorite part of the game is coming up, you're talking about the ice area, then. No, we're already in my favorite part. Just the Turn assembling the nuke thing. part. Oh, it's, okay. From the moment you get the plasma beam, basically all the way up through near the end of the Space Pirate homeworld, it, there's just a lot of cool shit in that entire section. of the, It's like the middle oh, half. Oh, I see. Okay, sure. I thought you meant, like... 
When you said like an area, I thought you meant an area that would take me like, you know, one or two segments. No, if... although I will say the ice side of Brio is neat. I do like it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that you, yeah, you, just, you do that. You just decided to do it. Oh, to be fair, that was established, yeah, but not decided. Okay, scanning, control interface, landing picker, concussive blast. Okay. And yep, you... this is definitely a cover. Why do we even have a cover here? Plot contrivance. Okay. Theta received. Receive. <laughs> Guess where I'm going. Uh, Talon 4. Yes. Is there anything on GFS that requires uh, any of the stuff I've gotten? What, the Valhalla? Can no. Can go there yet? No, the, the um, Olympus. Oh, Norian? Olympus. You can't go to the Olympus. Oh, right. That yeah, place is just only. gone. Yeah. When do we go back? You don't. I thought I saw. I thought I remembered seeing uh, items there. Oh, is it like the wreck ship sort of deal? Um, no. It was. I mean, there was the mandatory E tank, and that was it. Didn't you say that there was um stuff on it that uh eventually ends up somewhere else? There were some scans that you could miss, and apparently those show up on monitors somewhere on Norian. I see. All right. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going to Norian. Because we've got... We're at 45... 46 minutes. Um... Mm. What? I... I don't remember 100% sure, but I feel like if you do this, you're going to regret it. Okay. I think there's something life. shitty over there. It's a boss? I think so. That's very confusing. Um... Really, the plasma beam gets you to an optional boss on Norian. I think. So it's like the missile thing in Prime 2, the missile guy? Except much worse. So you recommend I do that with more E-tanks and equipment? Yes. Yeah, okay, if you say so. Um, I don't remember which... It's not the fiery one, it's not the one... Is it Federation Outpost? It actually is the fiery one. Oh. Okay. Uh, I thought Sorry, that would be a I... good way to wrap up the segment, but no, it's okay. If it's shitty, it'll yeah, probably take it's... me more than more than uh, you know ten minutes. So let me. I mean, now you're already going there anyway, but I'm I'm checking if this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, if you can even get there, there might be another item that blocks you. But uh, I see. All right. I mentioned earlier. Um, that there's a mini boss in this game that kind of sucks, and there's three of them, and one of them is over there. I see. Well, okay. Okay, so do you think I can get the item? Oh no, because I'm going. It's it's going to open up like a whole new area here, right? The so, ice world is actually really small. Uh, oh. you could yeah, it's like four you can clear room. it out in like ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. It's cool, but it's short and sweet. <laughs> Alright. Never mind then, I was figuring it was going to be a next segment thing, but okay, that, let's wrap it up with this then. That works for me. Trying to uh, figure out how to, uh, you know, make a good segment's length of stuff in a game that you're playing blind is uh, tricky. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm always thinking, like, how much time do I have left? Can I get to, like, what objective can I get to, you know? Um, can, how many times can I dip myself in the fuel gel before it stops being funny? Um. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> yes, dude. Nobody likes you. Nobody He's likes you, like bitch. You, bitch. <laughs> yep. He's uh. He's he's resisting that hate. So you get one more beam upgrade, right? Is what you said? Yeah. I'm guessing that's, that's like a phase on beam or later. something. What what did you say? I'm guessing it's like a phase on beam or something probably. Eh no, it's something unique and it's hyper beam. Made. It's really cool. 
feel like I should. I don't want to sell it too much, but I like it. It's it's pretty cool. I feel like I should remember, but that's fine. All right. Hmm. I forgot. Is this not a thing? I mean, I, th I think you can just go in there and lay a bomb. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's charitable. Why am I not taking damage? Because you're standing on oh. a little nub. <laughs> Wee. Yeah, you know, they had to put these here just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. <laughs> Bong. Oh, how convenient. Oh my god. Just like a cool fish. Uh, well. Was that failure? I thought I just had to break the pipe. Uh, I don't know what you were supposed to do next, to be honest. Boost ball, maybe? Oh. Okay. So this requires plasma beam, bombs, moth ball, and boost ball. I keep thinking about the random. I'm like, what yeah. would this? What would the areas look like with you know? know. Let's try this again. Yeah, I, I I couldn't really tell what the end objective was, but uh, it kind of just plopped you out. So, oh, here we go. This should, yeah. Nope. What? Did that not launch you? Nope. I mean, obviously it didn't, but it. Seems like it should have. Was I supposed to use useful? I mean, that thing ejects you really fast. That should have worked. Well, uh, it it didn't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm seeing that. Um, I'm now okay. If it if you can't get it to work this time, then let's reevaluate. Maybe the pipe broke open a door or something. I don't remember what this actually does. Not boost ball. No, it's. I mean, it's definitely not from. There you go. I think okay. I had to boost at the top, maybe or something. I, I don't fucking know. Maybe it was because I was holding a direction when I went through it. Did you point your axe in direction? I'm going to cut off his. Yes. Can't say that on TV. Okay. Um. Abortion. Oh, right, plasma door. Brio plasma door. Echo visor, my beloved. Where have you gone? <laughs> Brilliant data prophecy. Okay. Use the coin power magic size, couldn't she? Young Prime wondering why Summer Sky is not joining the Twitter sometimes. Okay. Oh, neat. Okay, cool. And that, that's a nice bookend to the story, I think. I was not paying attention. Um, so, you know, they had their whole civil war thing between the, the religious magic people and the scientists. And basically, this is saying, this guy was the lord of science, and he was like, as I was beginning to die, I was looking for a successor, but it wasn't easy, because everyone saw me as a monster. And then one day I happened upon a young primal, and it turned out she was a prophetess, and she told me that she foresaw, you know, a great catastrophe coming when some foreign object would land on our planet, so I started making a defense system. Alright. I see where we're at. Yep, I believe we have circled around to that one missile. Apologies if this video ends up running a little long. Um, uh, mm, should be okay. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, it's unimportant. Oh, okay. <laughs> Part of the wall. Is this not a grapple thing? Can you just. Uh, I guess you can just make that. Okay. Okay. So apparently that wasn't actually the way to the ice side. 
No, it's it, it's that blue room there, though. Oh. All right. Come on. I've uh, barely left. I mean, you can just ignore it. You know, it's watching a monster. All what should the, we do? Uh, just ignore it. Watching all of the streams of, like, you know, no backseating allowed has, uh... It's been weird with, you know, your lack of give a shit about spoilers and stuff. Because part of me is like, oh man, we should have not mentioned that there was an ice side. And maybe it would have, <laughs> like, seen the scan that mentioned that it existed and wondered if it would have come up. And it would have been cool, but... Nope. Maybe. I never know how to balance, like leading stuff in versus saying nothing about it well i'm also yeah it's just like i i will actively spoil myself on stuff sometimes and like i prefer doing that yeah. I, I i like to control it i like to i like to be in charge of how much i'm spoiling myself on and not i don't like it when people tell me just massive shit that i wasn't expecting but generally you know i will i'll hear that something happens or that there's a certain thing in a game or a show or whatever and it'll make me look forward to getting to that part like yeah, and studies have shown that. that that's that's actually how most people would respond to it. But there's just this cultural idea that you're supposed to avoid spoilers, which is partially, uh, in, you know, sort of spread by the, uh, you know, this whole like, oh, you gotta go see the movie in the theater, spend your money, go go see the thing, don't just read Wikipedia. Like, obviously, it's you know, there is a different experience to watching the movie, but I, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of money has been made out of uh, in, in, you know, trying to impress upon people that spoilers are like this huge deal uh more so than they really are anyway yeah i i i feel like it it probably just is you know on a personal basis some people care some don't and who like why does it matter which you are because i feel like some people probably get all judgmental about it too oh absolutely people constantly are like why did you ruin it? why do you always ruin it for yourself and like it does literally doesn't ruin it like i it's fine and it's 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 not always been the case that media has even you know, been based around like, oh, you gotta go in, you know, you know, you gotta go in, you know, completely blind. Like fucking Romeo and Juliet starts by going, uh, uh this yeah. is a tragedy. They're gonna fucking die. Like, and that gets you. I, I hate that I was time. actually about to use that exact example. <laughs> I am uh, unfortunately the odd one out here in that uh, I like not knowing. Because then when I see it for the first time, having had no idea or guess as to what it was or even inclination, then it's cool. That enriches the experience for me. And if I get spoiled or sometimes even hinted at as to what it is, it lessens the impact for me. Mm. It yeah. has nothing to do with needing to go to see things in the theater. It kinda, the same thing for me, it kind of depends. I, I do like being surprised by stuff in some cases, but in other cases I... I'm impatient and just want to look it up. For me, it's less a patience thing and more just, I find it more interesting. Sometimes it's a stress thing. Like, I sometimes I'll be watching a show and I'm like, oh god, is this going where I think it is? And the, the, the not knowing, the anticipation, I kind of hate that. Like, I kind of hate having to worry and stress about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I will vehemently. Uh, what? You, you needed to keep, keep going around again. Wait until there's a gap and then stop. It should kind of lock into place. Do like one more. Yeah, and then just wait. Okay. I will vehemently defend people's right to stay unspoiled for shit. Like, I get really mad when a game comes out and my YouTube feed is filled with, like, you know, final boss yeah. and ending and all this shit, like, Persafia Gaming and. Even with it was really okay, bad with me, the Pokemon DLC. It was fucking, it was full of that shit. Yeah, and I was like, let's just pissed off. You know, let's let's show the final boss in the thumbnail day one. Yeah, it didn't affect me, but it was like, it just it bothered me. Like I'm like, why do you why do why you do this? Um, oh, that's why, he why he die? Anyway, um, I feel like I had something else to say on the matter of spoilers. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, I just... I also feel like... 
I've seen this point mentioned before that like you know if you're if the thing that you're making your movie or your game is only good on a first time playthrough like if it's ruined that much by knowing stuff then it's probably not that good a game. I'm not saying it can't you know I'm not invalidating you Joel by saying it, it's not the case that it lessens the impact for you. For some people I'm sure that very much is the case. But I feel like the story has to have other things going for it. It has to be good on a replay or a rewatch right surely to, for, to be yeah. truly good <laughs> like. Unless it's like a gimmick thing where it's like, oh, the, the twist the whole time. But even then, you know, you get like, you get to see the, often with stuff like that, you, um, you go through it again and you see all the hints and shit. I don't know. I think stuff is enriched by having replayability and that's both games and movies and well, really any media, um, but doesn't strictly require it. I wouldn't call something bad just because it didn't have those things. You know what else it is? Is there's so much good media out there that is like, you know, you can't get to it all. And so sometimes um, I like, I, I don't like just hearing, oh, this game, man, you got to play it. It's so good. And I like, know nothing about it because then I'm not inclined to play it, right? Because there's like a million other things I could yeah, play. Yeah, you got to know what. I got to know at least a bit. And oftentimes the stuff that makes it good is really spoilery. Like, fucking, you know, Undertale. I did not go into that blind. I went into that knowing a bunch of shit about it, and I'm glad I did, because I don't know if I would have cared that much. Um, otherwise, yeah, I've like, been seeing... A lot of the best stuff about that game is stuff that, like, everyone's just like, oh, you just gotta go in blind. You just gotta, like, the whole thing, yeah, you gotta... <laughs> yeah, there's, the, there's a very popular opinion that, uh, you know, the Undertale fandom ruined the game for everybody who didn't play it early because you're not supposed to know going in that there's a pacifist and genocide and neutral route, and you're only supposed to find that out after the first playthrough. And it's like, I kind of get that. Mm -hmm. I know the game does reveal it to you that way. But it's not that big of a deal. I, I like the TV tropes approach. If you have the info out there, but it's clearly marked as spoilers, and it's like, you know, be warned. And then if you want to look, you can, and then maybe that will pique your interest. Anyway, uh... Disaster came... Exploding... Primal Bat Warband to the group fight. I see. Well, uh, they're all fucking gone, so that didn't go well. But, uh... This, uh, music sounded familiar. I mean, it's... Got the wind sounds and the... And the piano yeah, and stuff. It's... Like, it's, it's similar instrumentation to Fendrana. It's not the Fendrana song, but... No, the tune is different, but yeah, the instruments are basically identical. Nice callback, I suppose. How do I interface with these? Interfacing with your boobs. Do they not do anything? I guess not. Look what you did. Bad dog. Couldn't go over there anyway. JJ Abrams. Uh, okay. Hup. What a room. Oh, that was just a slide. For some reason, I thought this was like a pit. Alright. I will activate this, even though I won't use it yet. I'm living on the edge. It's Bible games on CDI. Yo, we're living on the edge. Good shit. Okay, that's our way out. Well, here's the money shot room. <laughs> okay. Alright. Don't know if I'll use that Looking for the thumbnail, but... Uh... Looking kind of Xenoblade in her. Yeah. Well, there's a screw attack. Pretty early for, for We that. got him. 
But... Yeah, it is surprising how early like, this game gives it to you. Before we got it, I was gonna guess that it was uh, gonna be from Ridley. Because, uh, it... that traditionally is, right? Ugh. Um... At least it is in... Uh... Zero Mission, you get it pretty shortly after him. Yeah. In Super, you get it before him, but only a, by a little bit. I see. Fusion, oh no! I don't actually remember. Maybe you do. This area with the stuff collapsing is reminding me of the Nepal level from uh, Tomb Raider Legend. I don't know if you remember remember that, Joel, but... Uh, no. Hmm. Maybe, kind of. Any dang ways. The thing about screw attack in the Prime games is that, uh, you know, normally you get it really late, and in Prime 2 you also get it really late, but in the earlier games it's, you know, yeah, it's a it's really a... potent weapon, whereas in these games it's Just more... traversal. Yeah. yeah, and even then it's not general purpose traversal either. It doesn't really help you get around generally. It really only helps you cross big gaps, so it's like... It's very specific in its use, so I guess they realize there's no reason to have it late because it doesn't break anything. Okay, yeah, well, especially since you, it's broken. But because you start with space jump boots in this game, so this is basically just you know the space jump boots of the game. Right. Um. What the fuck? Um. I mean, you need to just go through the door. You'll you'll come back and deal with this later. How am I gonna hit the hand from elsewhere? You'll see. What do you mean unknown surface type? I, I know what this is, though. Well, you just... know it's a screw attack surface. It doesn't mean you know what it's made of, I guess. I no, but, like, normally these change after you get the item that lets you do it. Yeah, usually. I don't know why this one is being different. Okay, now do I skin it? No. I will point out... Oh, uh, there is shit! A... What? That's the Lord of Science trying to talk to me. His corpse is like here or something. Or like a message from him. Right? That would be cool, but no, that's not it. Uh. <laughs> um, anyway, there was a missile expansion in there. You need screw, you need spider ball to get it. Uh, it is a very easily missable item because when you activate the items on the map, this one, like, you, you would never think to look here again because it's... You can't really select this map in the pause screen. No! What the fuck? You can, can you only do it a, a small number of times? It's five times. You have oh, my bad. I thought it was infinite. Okay. I'm seeing something <clears throat> I like. Yep. Yeah. Alright, um, anything else to scan? Nope. Ah, For some okay. reason, I thought there was a upgrade in, or like a energy tank or something in that room. I guess it was just the screw attack itself. Oh, now I can scan oh, this. What? I fucking knew it. Man, game's full of shit. Whenever you get the upgrade, okay, that didn't work nice. for some reason. <laughs> yeah. It... Why is the screw attack so? Or the... yeah, the. Space jump know. and related items so fucking unreliable in every Metroid game. <laughs> I don't know. They programmed it very weirdly. <laughs> Good shit. I like the sound effect. Okay, let's try this again and hopefully have it work this time. And can I go Your further? Earth. No. Alright, is that it? Uh, looks like that was it. That's looking like it. So this, this area has two items. It has the, the screw attack and the, the one thing you come back for with Spider Ball. Good. Yep. Alright. It is very brief. <clears throat> this is uh, a 
very weird comparison to make, but, you know, this is not the only game in which there is a lava-themed area that warps to an ice-themed area that is very, like, you know, there, there are sections of it that are very com small and kind of pointless. I'm not sure what game you're talking about. Just Banjo Tooie, because the ice version of Hailfire Peaks just has like two or three little dead end rooms that are you have to access through other mains, and they're fucking stupid. Oh, the Valhalla is part of making the nuke, is it? It shouldn't be. No. Well, it's telling me I can go there right now if I want. I mean, I guess you could. I don't know why it's giving you access now. Damn it, this is not the but right fucking way. it's not related to the bomb. You could go to the Valhalla now. I, how many batteries do you have? One. Oh, I see. That's yeah, ready. that's probably not enough to get anything. I guess ride it up again. I, I think you're right. You don't want to go this way. I know, but I was trying to figure out the way out, and I couldn't find it. So I looked at the map, and I'm like, oh, I, it's it's right here. The, the door's right there. Why can't I go through it? And, and I don't know. Uh, I guess Why do I go I out this way to reach the thing on the other side? Oh. Man, I don't know. The game is whack. I don't know what movement prompted, like, facilitated this, but okay. Or, like, why that connected up the way it did, I mean. But sure. Okay, well, anyway, it's basically the end of the segment. It was a kind of long one, but that's fine. We had a shorter yeah. one not too long ago, so... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm halfway to scanning it. It's fine. I'll get it next time. I'll have to come back here for that one item with spider ball, so... Yeah, among other things. Among us. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll call it there. Next time, uh, I probably won't go investigate the uh, Valhalla, because it seems that there's no point. Or very little point. So we'll probably yeah, just return... You can, you can see what it's like, but I don't think there's much you can do. I'll probably just return to Alicia and uh, see what we can do to screw attack. I can already think of uh, two places. There was a wall somewhere, and there was um, like a long gap I needed to get across. Which actually, that it might be too long for screw attack, but we'll see. Anyway, goodbye.